today I'm house hunting in the stunning Almeria province here in South East Spain. I'm Ben Hillman, an interior designer and property expert. For the past few years, I've been helping house hunters find their dream properties whilst giving them a little design inspiration too. Today, I'll be using my skills to help house hunters Leanne and Dave find the perfect holiday home. I don't get off to the best of starts. What do you make of this? I like it. I don't love it. Oh, Leanne. But I soon get on to a winning streak. Look at your face, Leanne! <laughs> I'm beyond excited, yeah. Really like the look at this. Yeah. On the way, I visit this beautiful beachfront villa. Oh, this is lovely. Look oh. at this pool. And we've even got sea views yeah. as well. But at the end of the day, do I find Leanne and Dave? They're perfect. Place in the sun. How are we feeling? <laughs> <laughs> it's all excitement, isn't it, this property? Yeah. yeah. Leanne and Dave both have fond childhood memories of family holidays here in Spain. And with their son Dominic, now 13, they want to create new experiences and memories by buying their very own home here for everyone to enjoy. This married couple from Catrum got together under the mistletoe. So we met at work at a Christmas do, and I turned on the charm, and here we are, 20 years later. <laughs> yeah. And now they're ready for new adventures in a sunny paradise with their son, Dominic. This is life-changing. This is going to make a massive difference to our lives. We've had some challenging times in the last few years, mm -hmm. so we just thought, now's the now's time. Now's the time. Let's just do yeah. it. They want to focus their search around the Almeria province area and have a budget of £100,000. Situated on the southeastern coast of Spain, flights from the UK to Almeria Airport take just under three hours. Almeria province is around an hour's drive from the airport and has remained unspoiled by tourism compared to other parts of the Spanish coast. Here you can find traditional whitewashed villages and over 120 miles of beautiful beaches and secluded rocky coves. Its landscape is so rugged and mountainous that many Hollywood movies have been filmed here along with spaghetti westerns featuring Clint Eastwood. Almeria province can be a great choice for house hunters who want the climate of nearby Costa del Sol but without the hefty price tag. In fact, you can find three bedroom apartments or townhouses close to the coast for around £100,000, which is exactly what's attracted Leanne and Dave to the region. So before we start, welcome to the beautiful province of Almeria. How do you feel to be here? Amazing. Exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. I mean, this has been a dream for how long? We've been thinking about it for probably the last 10 years. Really? Yeah. 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 We've got a son who's 13, Dominic, so he'll he'll be coming out of us. The opportunity to be able to do it for him and doing it this way where we actually have our own place would just be, would be amazing, yeah. really. Yeah, and what is it you love so much about this region? Well, I mean, the weather's obviously a bonus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The food, the people are friendly. What do you like to get up to? Have you got any sort of hobbies? And We'd definitely be like anywhere that's like kind of flea markets or yeah. food type market. I mean, I, I'm guessing 10 years in the making of this, you've probably drawn up some quite specific plans of what you want. Yeah, definitely needs to have three bedrooms. And a bit of outdoor space. We really want to um, enjoy this experience with friends or with family. If it had access to a pool, communal pool, yeah. if it had two bathrooms, I'd be loving life. One on the suite, <laughs> preferably. Loving. Modern, open plan. Yeah. Close to some life, some bars, some restaurants. Okay, probably asking a lot, but... Yeah, we're realistic, we're open to a bit of compromise. Yeah. You know. Now, I know your budget is £100,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want quite a bit. <laughs> we do. Is there any wiggle room in that at all? Yeah, so we're thinking about uh, 5000 more, possibly. Okay. Yeah. If it absolutely blew us away, we would okay. be prepared to stretch it a little bit more. Yeah, yeah for yeah. something that's perfect. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Well, I do have five great houses lined up for you, so we should probably go and see them. Can't Definitely. wait. Go. Come on. <laughs> My first option is in the small traditional town of Toure, which is a 15 minute drive from the coast and surrounded by beautiful countryside overlooked by the Sierra de Cabrera mountains. But before we go to the property, we're stopping off at Mahaca Pueblo to get the lay of the land. All right, I have brought you to Plaza Nueva here in Mahaca Pueblo. What do you make of it? Beautiful. Stunning, really yeah. nice. Those expressions are really good. The best spots 
in the whole region to get a really good view. Yeah, you can see why. <laughs> yeah, in fact, the locals call it the Valley of the Pyramids because it's got these like standalone mountains. You see them just sort of dotted about. Yeah. Yeah. Will Dominic love it as much as you seem to? Think so. Yeah. He's at an age now where he'll come out with us to have lunch and um, appreciate it. I think. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Our first property is a ten-minute drive from here, Great. just slightly further inland. Wow. You guys here? Yeah. yeah. Come on. We're heading to the traditional town of Ture, which has become very popular with foreign buyers looking for a holiday home. Prices here can be up to 50% cheaper than on the coast, and I found a real gem that I'm hoping will hit the spot. We are at our first property. What do you make of it from the outside? I'm not, In yeah. this town, you've got Bars Restaurants, High Street, just down the road. Okay. Yeah. It's got a communal pool. Woohoo! Excellent. <laughs> it's three bed, two baths. Outdoor space, your own front door from the street, ticking all the boxes. Yeah, it is, is so it? Far. Yeah. 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 It's on the market and it's within budget, it's just under £97,500. Wow. Good. Need I, I say more? Brilliant. No. Good. I think you should get inside before it hammers down with rain. Come on. As well as having access to a communal pool, which is open during the summer months, this townhouse has a terrace with panoramic sea and mountain views. Inside is a living dining room and a kitchen. Downstairs is a basement room currently used as a gym. Upstairs is a double bedroom with an ensuite shower room, a twin bedroom, a third double bedroom currently used as a living area leading onto the terrace and a family bathroom. Okay, in we come. I think there was a flash of lightning then when we came. We just, oh, 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 we sidestepped that one, didn't we? And we remain dry. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. What'd you make of this? I like it. First impressions. Do you? I like it. I don't love it. Oh, yeah. Slightly too much dark furniture in here, which I think is detracting from how open the space actually yeah. is. You're right about the furniture. I think that sofa should kind of be down here. Yeah. Look at it that way. Then all of a sudden, yeah. it would open up the room. It really would open yeah. up the room. It's actually quite a wide space. Yes, yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah. The kitchen's just through there. Okay. That's not to stop you putting a bit of a. Aperture in that wall, though, if you wanted to connect it up a bit. It's going to be a, a huge piece of work to yeah. get that done, is it? So. No. Yeah, that's a, that's a weekend job. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the main bedroom. It's that's not fun. huge, but yeah. it's a good enough size. It's got quite a nice spanish -y feel. And an amazing view. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mountain least. views are yeah. nice. I mean, really that would nice. be certainly very nice to wake up to every morning. Yeah. So this is the third bedroom, which is kind of used as a living space. I'm not quite sure how successfully, but then out onto the terrace, it actually looks like the rain is clearing, thankfully. Um, what do you make of this? It's beautiful, isn't it? That view is incredible. It is. Is that the sea in the distance? It might just be, Leanne. Ah. Yeah, it's that's not nice. that far away, is it? No. Would Dominic like it down there? Yeah, I yeah, think he definitely would. Space down there. Yep. See him in and out of that pool all day. Preferably, yeah. access to outside space, not via a bedroom. Okay, that is the slight compromise. At the yeah. moment, that, I would say that's the, the main compromise of what we've okay. seen. Yeah. Right, well, you head off back inside, have a look around, and I'll see you at the front. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Well, there you go. Not bad. Slight concern over the access to the terrace. At the moment, I'm thinking solid 7 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. Little yeah. pool table, table tennis, something like that. Yeah. Little sofa, maybe. Music set up. Yeah. The kitchen. Furniture's a bit dark. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the no. colour of the wood, but that's pretty minor. Like Ben was saying, potentially knocking through the wall behind us to open it up as a, an option. This character townhouse is on the market for just under £97,500. It's got a lot going for it, but has it won them over? All right, what did you make of it? We like the bedroom yeah. sizes. It's just that access. We're just yeah. not sure how practical that will be. It's fine if it was me and Leanne and Dominic, mm. but as soon as you bring guests into the equation, it just might feel a little bit intrusive. Yeah. yeah. So is it contender material, would you say? I personally wouldn't rule it out at this stage. I'm a bit more on the fence Are you? about it, yeah. How do you feel about that, Dave? Well, she's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ruling it out. I think there's some modernisation needed. It's not perfect just yet. If this was more modernised inside and it didn't have the access issue to the terrace... Job done. Job, really? 
pretty nice. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Okay, that's what I'm after then. Come on. Well, I'm delighted it's a contender, but let's see if I can get another. For my next option, we're heading 15 minutes further inland to the village of Al Fikes. On the way, we're stopping off at a village nearby to check out our five a day. Now, I know you love a market, don't you? We do yes, love we do. a market. This is Los Gallados, which means the brave. That's the town. <laughs> the brave. Nice. You guys are brave, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. What are you going to try in the market then to prove your braveness? <laughs> Uh, local fruits and veg. You crazy nutter. <laughs> yeah. So you're buying it, but are you cooking it up or is Dave? Yeah. So does that mean you're doing all the cooking? Yeah, I'm the, uh, I'm the cook at home. So what's Dave going to rustle up if he wants to impress you, Leah? He does an amazing duck dish. Ooh, I love that. Noodles, ginger, chilli, oh. spring onions, gorgeous. Dave! Yeah. yeah. Where did you get wrong. this skill from? <laughs> uh, Self-taught, sort of just something that I got into. When, when Leanne fell pregnant with Dominic and I've yep. kind of just done the cooking since then. And yeah, Are you one of these people that can just sort of come down to a market and go, well, I'll have a bit of that, a bit of this, a bit of that? Yeah, I will do. I think when we're out here, I'll give me an opportunity to be a little bit more adventurous, maybe try a few new ingredients that we don't get at home. And yeah. Yeah, we're looking forward to doing that. Al Marie is known, actually, as the, uh, the pantry of Europe, so you're going to get fantastic produce here. But I do have a house close by to show you. Perfect. Shall we head off and see it? Yes, please, then. Please. Coming up, I'm hoping this modern townhouse will impress Dave and Leanne with its contemporary interiors and easy access to the terrace. Today I'm house hunting in beautiful Almeria in South East Spain with Dave and Leanne who are in search of their perfect holiday home. And although we do have a contender in our first property, I don't think it's exactly what Leanne would call perfect. Walking through a bedroom to get to the terrace didn't appeal to Leanne, although Dave didn't mind so much. They're looking for the perfect place for family holidays with their son Dominic and have a maximum budget of £105,000. For my next option, we're heading to the outskirts of the small village of Al Fikes. Demand for properties here has increased over the past year, with buyers looking for a peaceful alternative to some of the busier resorts. As a result, prices are starting to creep up, but I've managed to find somewhere that could be right up the street. Now this time we have come inland a little bit more, but we are outside Spanish townhouse. Look at your <laughs> face, Leanne! <laughs> you, you really excited? I'm really, I'm beyond excited. Yeah, really like, look at this. Yeah. Really, why? Why with this one and not the last one? Because it's beautiful. The white buildings, it just looks modern, yeah. fresh. The mountain views are pretty spectacular Special, as well. Yeah. Yeah. So if you wanted to walk somewhere, just to go to a bar, the nearest little sort of grocery store, it's 10 to 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. There's a village down the road called Alfaix. Yeah. So that's going to be your closest spot. Los Gallardos, yeah. five minutes in the car. Yeah. Then you've got more stuff. Okay, yeah, that's good to know. Inside is three beds. Two baths. There's only eight properties here. Yeah. Yeah. And they're sharing the swimming pool at the end of the row, which is open all year round. And it does feel, it does feel, I know, which, yeah, which you don't always get in Spain, do you? Because they do close these pools down yeah. over the winter a lot of the time. This one is on the market for just under £95,500. No, we're near your wiggle room. No. <laughs> Can we get inside? Yes, please. <laughs> As well as having access to this lovely pool, which is open all year round, this contemporary townhouse has a patio garden and two balconies with mountain views. Inside is an open plan kitchen, living and dining room leading onto the patio. Upstairs is a double bedroom leading onto a balcony with an ensuite shower room, a second double bedroom, a third bedroom currently used as a study leading onto a second balcony and a bathroom. Right, I think you're going to like this, Leanne. Yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. I do. Is this a big slice of you guys, is it? Yeah. Much more like it. A million percent. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Cooking a nice dinner there, everyone. Yeah. Sitting down, talking and taking it all in. It's so conducive, isn't it? To yeah, say... I'm a bit choked, actually. <laughs> really? Why is it making you so emotional, this place? It just looks like what I envisaged, what I imagined. What has made it so important for you guys to do this now? Because we've had a tough couple of years. Dominic's an only child. Um, we tried unsuccessfully to make our immediate family bigger with some difficult experiences. Right, yeah. thought it was time to really start 
living and making the most of what we've got. Yeah. And bringing everyone together now. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. I think that's a really lovely, lovely thing to be doing. Now, the great thing about this is you haven't got to walk through a bedroom to get here. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. Yeah. Now, it is in the shade at the moment. It actually does face west. So, all your afternoon sunlight is out here. Okay. The sun trap in the morning at the front. Yeah. Sun trap in the afternoon out here. Yeah, good. Fish and, uh, patch out the back. Spanish guy who tends this as well. I reckon if you get to know him, he might even chuck a couple of onions your way. Oh, hopefully. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, 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 fresh ingredients. How about this pool area, huh? Very nice. Yeah. It kind of feels like a private garden, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it's got that feeling to it. Nice bit of grounds around the edge of the pool. Yeah. I'm overlooking the mountains. Look, a bit of a prickly subject now. I hope you don't mind, but what do you think of the cactus? <laughs> <laughs> I like it, it's a nice feature. I think it's great. Yeah, it is yeah. great, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Are you just as excited being out here as you were walking up to the house and going inside? Probably more so. More so. Oh, come yeah. on! Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's really... And you haven't even seen half of it. Yeah. No. Which I will let you go and do. Really when you excited. head back inside, I might just wait out here for you. Thank okay, you. Thank See you, you in a moment. Well, there you go. Emotions are definitely running high here. And for all the right reasons, this is going to be a tough one to beat. Master bedroom. Yeah, it's a good size. Really good size. Lovely mountain views as well. Yeah, really nice. It'd really be nice sitting out there looking at that. Yeah. On the sweet. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Wow. Very nice. And the Quite skylight. Light. Okay. Slightly smaller. Slightly smaller. It's still got the benefit of having a, a second balcony as well, which is really nice. Yeah, decent view from there. Nice guess, and bright. Guest room or room for Dominic. Yeah, I think so. This contemporary townhouse is on the market for just under £95,500, which is well within budget. They seem to love it, so I'm hoping it's a front runner. Well, you're looking just as chipper. Yeah. Did it go well? Yeah, really well, really well. Did Absolutely it? stunning. Yeah, the bedrooms are really good size. Yeah, they are. And the really getting this place at this point. Yeah, <laughs> nine on, perfect. Where does this leave the first property, though? Yeah, no. def definitely not property one after seeing this. Yeah, no, no. Step down off that fence. Yeah, no comparison. Yeah. Okay, so it's just this property at the moment. Could we improve on it? Is there anything to improve on this place? It would be nice just to understand where the local amenities yeah. okay. are and what's yeah. there. Would you like to head a little closer to the beach and a few more amenities? It seems like a sensible move to make, really, doesn't it? Uh, that would make sense, yeah. That, that's the only thing, I think, at this point that could be this. Exactly. Right, off I'll leave. Let's head off. OK, let's go. For my next option, I'm taking them to the coast, to the village of Palomares, which has a lovely Spanish feel. There are lots of shops and tapas bars here, and it's become popular with international buyers who want to move here permanently. The beach is just half a mile away from the village, so where better to stop off first? No, I promise we'll be coming back to the beach. This particular beach is Quitapejos. What do you make of it? Beautiful. Yeah, really nice. Do you fancy a bit of volleyball? Yeah. A bit of volleyball, a bit of football. Keep you up, is it, Dominic? Yeah. yeah. A bit of bat and ball in the sea as well. That's always a classic. Yeah. Oh. Does he ever sit down? Not really. Not, Not unless there's yeah. a computer screen in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Restaurant here as well. Yeah, something to Bar on the Yeah, beach. exactly. Go drink. We need in one place. Yeah, it, it really does. And you could definitely spend the whole day down here, couldn't Easily, you? Easily, yeah. Do you know what? Our next property is a stroll from here. Wow. 15 minutes stroll, but a stroll nonetheless. Okay, great. That sounds good. Let's go see it. Okay, brilliant. Coming up with its huge outdoor living spaces and panoramic sea views, can my next property blow our only contender out of the water? Today, I'm helping Dave and Leanne find their dream holiday home in the stunning province of Almeria. And having just seen a property that they both love, I'm hoping things are only gonna get better. This contemporary townhouse had everything they're dreaming of, but they would quite like to be a bit nearer the beach. They're looking for a three bedroom home from home with a pool and have a maximum budget of 105,000 pounds. For my next option, we've come to the coastal village of Palermo. 
Hermanis. As we're so close to the sea, prices are high here, and I found somewhere which is just over the top end of their wiggle room. But they did say they could stretch the budget for the perfect property. Could this be the one? Starting at the pool, this time. It's, it's a nice pool. Yeah, nice pool. All very well maintained. Yeah. Probably not quite as nice. Anyway, probably a little bit more pleasing on the eye. But this time, we've got the beach at the road. That's exactly. true. Yeah. That's minutes. really true. Do you reckon you'll end up spending more time at the beach than the pool, given the fact it's so close? I think it could be 50-50. Yeah. 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 It's really nice to have that option of being so close mm. to the beach. It's a huge selling point, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. So the sea is right in front of us now. This time we are in the town of Palomares, close to the bars and the restaurants and the shops. So it's all about location this time. And the property we're going to see is at the end. Lovely. It's okay. a duplex. So you've got the top two floors. Wow. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Good first impression. That's impressive. It is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Which is why yeah. I wanted to bring you here. It's a really good size, actually. Three bed, two bath duplex, big sunny terraces. That sounds good. Now, this is going to be pushing the budget okay for this one it's just under one hundred and eight and a half thousand pounds okay but for good reason yeah, yeah. big old blue thing out there yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's okay. what you're paying for the location yeah yeah okay let's head inside as well as having access to this communal hall this duplex apartment has a terrace with panoramic sea views a second wraparound terrace and a balcony Inside is a living dining room leading onto the terrace and a kitchen leading onto a balcony. Upstairs is a double bedroom that leads onto the wraparound terrace and has an ensuite shower room. There's a twin bedroom, a single bedroom and a bathroom. Okay, <laughs> one a living room. Love the dual aspect. Yeah. That's really nice. Very light and bright in here. Yeah brightest room we've seen. Not as open plan as the modern contemporary townhouse. Not as open, but not closed off either. But not no. closed off. No, so, no. I mean, the hob's right there, so you could be cooking and yeah. still talking to people yeah. that are... Even though that last house, beautiful, this has got more of a connection, I think, with the outdoor space. Yes, it stuff. has. Yeah, the thought of being able to have those doors drawn open and just be able to be outside and inside is, is, um, is definitely something that's very appealing. Now, step out to the smaller of the terraces. The smaller of the terraces. Yeah, yeah. still a good size, plenty big enough for what we need. Bit of um, outside dining yeah. and friends and family round. Yeah. Like so it. are you preferring this to the outside space of the last property? This has got views. Yeah. So I think arguably this is a nicer space. It is, yeah. <laughs> and it's slightly bigger, isn't it? Than... It's a little bit longer. Are you surprised that we're seeing a property this close to the beach? Yes, I didn't expect that to be achievable. An additional bonus that we wasn't expecting. Oh, so it's yeah. definitely um, making our decision hard to find a minute. Yeah. I'd have a look around and I'll catch you when you're done. Brilliant, thank you. Well, it was never going to be easy beating that lovely contemporary townhouse. I think this might just be doing it and uh, it's not hard to see why. Kitchen. Yeah. It's nice, I like the worktops. I don't. Don't you? No. Oh. <laughs> I think it needs modernising. Okay. Ah, oh, it's a good size. So this must be the master bedroom. Yeah. French doors out onto the... Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah, good. Really nice. This Seaview duplex is on the market for just under £108,500. I've had to push their budget to get this close to the sea, but has it won their hearts? Hey, what a beautiful spot, eh? Yeah. yeah, really nice. I quite like the fact that this is off of the main room upstairs, mm -hmm. whether it's when we're here or when guests are staying here, because it's still got that space downstairs. Oh, nice. You've got to claim this as your own. Oh, yeah, we'll I think so. Time. There's no giving so. this yeah. to the guests upstairs. <laughs> How'd you get on with the rest of the property? I think there's bits that we really love about this place, yeah. but mm. we think there might be a little bit more work that needs to be done. To where make where it is our that? Own. Kitchen. Right. Downstairs bathroom, possibly. Yeah, and this is a little bit over. Yeah, well, kind of going to into it. the wiggle yeah. room and a bit more. And a bit more. But is it a contender? It is for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, and yeah. for me, it is yeah. a contender. I think the location here is definitely topping. Yeah, it definitely is. The townhouse. But at the same time, I 
really fell in love with the townhouse, so it's difficult. Yeah, we've got we've got a bit to think about. Definitely have. Yeah, and it's not over yet. No, because there's more to say. Come on. <laughs> Fantastic! Another contender in the bag. For my next option, we're heading back to Torre. But before we go there, I'm taking them to Garuccia Port to get a taste of what's on offer. I want to ingratiate you with the sight, the sounds, and more importantly, the tastes that we've got going on here because we've got a bit of a delicacy in front of us. They are Gandarocha de Garuccia, which yeah. is the red shrimp or prawns of Garuccia, which are very, very specific to the area and are very sought after by chefs and are very expensive. Okay. So it is a real treat. Lovely. Do you both like seafood? Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much of a treat for Dave then. Sorry, Dave. I'm hoping, Leanne. You like it? I am. You do. I absolutely love it. Fab. Have you tried prawns before? I have, mm -hmm. yes, but not the ones like this that just come out of the sea. <laughs> no, no. So I'm actually quite looking forward to it, to be honest. Absolutely. <laughs> Freshly cooked. Couldn't get any fresher. So give them a go. Yep, yep. Have a Can't go. Wait. See what, and you tell me what you think of them. Ready. Yep. It's flavour, isn't it? It's got a really strong flavour. Yeah. I think that's probably one of the nicest prawns I've Is eaten. It? So worth a trip down here, then? Definitely. Yeah, yeah Leanne would absolutely love it down here. Do you like the sort of outlook here. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice looking out on the harbour and the boats. Yeah, yeah we really could see ourselves sitting down here having something to eat, couldn't we? Yeah. Right, our next property is a 12 minute drive from here. Are you ready to head off? Absolutely. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Okay. We're heading back to Torre, which comes from the Latin word Torres, meaning tower. It was originally a Moorish settlement in the 15th century and is steeped in history. Nowadays, there are lots of shops, bars, and restaurants, and an excellent market on Fridays where you can buy local produce. Right, I'm guessing you've gathered where we are. Torre. Very good, <laughs> David, and very nice pronunciation as well. And the next property is this one right here on the corner of this building. This time, I am showing you a property that's one and a half times bigger than anything we've seen so far. So this is all about getting the family over, loads of space to entertain. Okay. Okay, two balconies, which you can see there, one above the other, so it's a duplex. Yep. Again. Yep. Big kitchen this time that doesn't need modernising, which it did at the last property. Lovely. Doesn't need the bathrooms modernising, which it did at the last property. Okay. Oh, and it has four bedrooms. Four oh. bedrooms. Four bedrooms. <laughs> four big bedrooms, I might add. Three bathrooms, two of which are en suite. I mean, you know, this is... It's actually wow. pretty good. <laughs> wow. It's on the market for just over £93,000. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, yeah that is really good. good. As with most properties, though, there is a bit of compromise in terms of your outside area. That is a little bit smaller in this instance. You've got the two balconies there, and then you've got a rooftop terrace with the pool, but it's more of a plunge pool. Okay, okay. okay. But this is all about having that lovely living space inside, being able to have as many family and friends over as you possibly can. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's still excited. Yeah, yeah I am. Good. I am. It's, com it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, anything we've seen so far. Absolutely. Um, and variety is the spice of life, so I'm... Oh, well, there you yeah. go, then. <laughs> <laughs> Get inside, and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> variety is the spice of life, eh? Sounds like I'm really cooking up a storm now. I just hope they like this one. As well as having access to this communal rooftop terrace with a pool... This duplex apartment has a covered terrace on both floors. Inside is a living dining room leading onto a terrace, a large kitchen, and a bedroom currently used as a study with an ensuite bathroom. Upstairs is a double bedroom leading onto a terrace, a second double bedroom, a twin bedroom with an ensuite shower room, and a family bathroom. Wow. Blimey. Not working for me, but that's yeah, cosmetic, we can, isn't we it? Can yeah. Change that. That's easy enough. Okay. So balcony. I like it as a space. Yeah. It's small though. It is small. And I don't think you could be having a barbecue out here. No. Still nice to have the space straight off the living room. So Agreed. I'm, I'm not against it. Certainly a large kitchen. Big kitchen. Yeah, I mean, it's probably twice the size of our kitchen at home. Yeah. I would imagine inexpensive to make more our own. Yeah, it's not It's not my taste. It's nice and light. And a bathroom. Yeah. Options for this to be used as a fourth bedroom. Bedroom, yeah. I like the size of the room. Yeah, 
good size. It's nicely decorated. But quite dark again. Yeah. That's the downstairs. And I think because this is one of the ones we're going to compromise with outside space, mm -hmm. we have to be inside more often. Yeah. And it's dark. There's spacious duplexes on the market for just over £93,000. But has my wild card won them over? All right. How'd you get on? Interesting. Interesting. The proportions of the property yeah. and the size of it for me is probably my favourite one. Having that fourth bedroom that we could have used as a slash games room That's it. and the additional bathrooms, that was amazing. I never expected to be viewing properties. Mm. Of, and a huge kitchen. Of that too. Size. Yeah. yeah, massive yeah. kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to tell me it's a contender? No, Unfortunately not. not. Really? Yeah, there was a bit of a lack of natural daylight coming through. Right. And the personal the outdoor space. The outdoor space. Yeah. There just wasn't enough of it. It's a bit too limited, was it? Too limited, yeah. yeah. So is it still the contemporary townhouse and our Sea View duplex apartment to beat? Yeah. Yes. Property two and three. Yes. It's still very much in a running. But what we're establishing from this with our last property is that we do need the outside space. Yeah. yeah. And we do need that light. That'd yes. be great. Let's go do it, shall we? Come on. Coming up, will my final property make the biggest splash of all? Incredible. Best fall so far. It's Take our breath away a little bit. Yeah. Please. Today I'm in Spain's Almeria province with Dave and Leanne looking for their new holiday home. And with two strong contenders already, I'm looking to go one better with my final property. They loved this contemporary townhouse, but were also bowled over by this sea view duplex close to the beach. They're looking for a home from home where they can make new memories with their son Dominic and have a maximum budget of £105,000. I've got one. But before we go there, I'm taking a break from the house hunt and stopping off at this luxury four bedroom villa in Mahaka. It's the perfect blend of open plan contemporary design with a price tag of just over £843,000. I can't wait to see inside, so I'm meeting the agent, Thalida, for a tour. Thalida, hello, how are hello, you? Hello, I'm fine, and you? I'm, well, I'm very well, having seen this house. It looks Yes, we are going to see today the highlight of my portfolio. Really? So this is a real gem of a property? Yes, it's very good. nice. Can we have a look around? Yes, let me take you around. What a welcome to a house, a bar. I like that, yeah, but no look at this. It's beautiful. Yes, very nice. I love it. Yes. Being warmed by the sun. Yes, indeed. It has solar panels. Uh, okay. More than 75% will be powered by the panels, so which really? is very good. Although it's very contemporary. Yeah. It is an older house, isn't it, I think? Yes, has been renovated last year. Yeah. Everything is brand new. Yeah. The only thing that stays is the flooring. Wow, so a lot of time and a lot of effort. Yes, for into sure. Into this house. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, Look wow. at this pool. And we've even got sea views yes. as well. And if you go up, you can yeah. see the mountain as yeah. well. Oh, you can see. Oh, cool. Look at those. Yeah. It really is like in the perfect little spot, isn't it? Exactly. Like so if you like uh, cycling, for example, you can yeah. go up, go mm. to the mountain, and then it's perfect place for that. I'm too lazy for that. I'll probably go down to the okay. beach and then get You've got the option of what? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for showing me around. You're very welcome. Yeah, I better get back to my search. <laughs> Let me show you up. For my final option, I'm taking my house hunters further inland to the village of Los Gallardos. It's named after Captain Francisco Pedro Gallardo, who put up a brave fight against the Moors in the late 16th century before his family settled there. Despite being a village, it has a great selection of shops and restaurants which are open year-round and not just during the tourist season. The nearest beach isn't that far away, so this is where we're stopping off first. Well, we are ending our little tour of Almeria by the beach again, because let's face it, life is going to be a beach for you guys here, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> but this is the beach of Descargador in Mahaka Playa. Do you like what you see? Yeah, nice beach. Yeah. It does have a lot going on in terms of nightlife as well and nightclubs and bars. So I'm thinking, as Dominic grows up, yeah, yeah. this is going to be, like, Likely. it probably is going to be the place where he's going to spend yeah. a lot of his time. And a place for us to go to now as well. <laughs> You'll be going out with him, won't you? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> no, son, this is how you dance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great. Well, that's the 
their nights on the tiles all sorted then. Now I'm taking them to Huerta Nueva Urbanization on the outskirts of Los Gallardos. As it's a bit further inland, they can get a lot for their money here. And I've got a good vibe about my final property. I can just feel it in my waters. Right, from the beach to the pool, and what a pool it is. Probably four times bigger than anything we've seen. Incredible. Best pool so far. It's take our breath away a little bit. Yeah. Came in. Did it? Yeah, it really did. Right, yeah. Dominic. What is he thinking about this? I mean, he would absolutely He'd love this. He would love this, this. I think. Yeah. So I'll save the best for last then. I mean, at this point, yeah. <laughs> at this point, um, absolutely. We are on the outskirts of Los Gallardos, so yeah. take 15 minutes to walk into town. That's perfectly doable yeah. walking distance. Happy with that. What about the style of the properties? I think it's really attractive on the eye. I do. To be honest, yeah. I think they feel warmer somehow and blend into the greenery around. Yeah. Well, I know you like the style of the properties, so the one we're going to be looking at is just there. Yeah, it's got a really nice feel to it. Yeah, I really like it. Not a duplex, not a house. It is an apartment this time, OK? But it does have this great front garden, great back garden. And I love the fact that it's got the, the orange and the lemon tree as well. Yeah, chuck them in your drinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got three bedrooms. It's got two bathrooms. They're good size. It was on the market originally at just under £97,500, but it's been reduced now to just under £89,000. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Which is why I thought I'd better show it to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I yeah. mean, it's all stacking up at the moment, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 So that's got the excitement going, has yes. it? Definitely, yeah. Let's go in. As well as having access to that amazing communal pool, this ground floor apartment has a patio garden with orange and lemon trees, and a large terrace with panoramic mountain views. Inside is a living dining room leading onto the terrace, a galley kitchen, and a double bedroom leading onto the front garden with an ensuite bathroom. There's also a second bedroom, a twin bedroom, and a shower room. Right. Are you getting good feels? I have. <laughs> yeah? yeah? I have. Yeah. 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 100%. Very much so. The double windows. And there's like defined spaces. The way it looks now, there is very little, if anything, that I would be feeling like I need to change. That is great news. Yeah. Good first impressions, Ben. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. How does this compare with our other two contenders? You've thrown a spanner in the works. Oh, good. <laughs> I brought my whole um, toolkit with me. <laughs> space we've got going on. Looks great. Yeah. Really like it. Yeah. Biggest outdoor space of any of Ever. the yeah. Ever. <laughs> yeah. What about that view? Because you did like the sea view. We've lost that now. Yes, it's not the sea, but that's possibly the best view that it's... we've had of any of the properties. Yeah. You know, having the whole family around it's going to be great. Yeah. yeah, this is a much more usable Sociable space. outside space yeah. for everybody. I'm kind of talking to you as if this is the one you want and you're going to buy it, but I know you haven't seen it all, so I'm going to let you go. Don't have a look at it. Thank Thank you. Okay, see so a bit. Things are definitely getting excited. This has got a lot of what they were asking for, a little of what they weren't asking for, and they still seem to love it. I think I might have myself a hat trick. I love it. Yeah. I love it. French doors hang so god. <laughs> Move straight into this one. <laughs> yeah. To be honest. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. Good size room. Yeah. I like it. And whoever's in has got the benefit of the doors going to yeah. the terrace and the views. It would make a lovely guest room or room for Dominic. It certainly would. This apartment in Los Gallardos is on the market for just under £89,000, which is well within budget. It's made a great first impression. Have we got a new favourite? How are we feeling? <laughs> <laughs> it's all excitement, isn't it, this property? Yeah. Is it still that way? Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, my gosh. But we have those other contenders. What's happened to them? We haven't completely ruled anything out at this mm -hmm. point. But I think we've got a serious front runner in this property. But how are you going to discount the other two if that's what happens? Have to do a little recce of the local area. Yeah, and have a bit more time to think about it and weigh up all of the pros and cons. Why don't you head off and go and do those things? We'll meet up tomorrow and you can tell me what you're going to do. Let's go. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Like more information.
information on any of the properties featured on today's show, go to placeinthesun.com forward slash programs. I've now shown Leanne and Dave all five properties in the Almeria province area for their maximum budget of £105,000. They're looking for a holiday home to enjoy with their son Dominic and we've got three strong contenders in the running. This contemporary townhouse, this sea view duplex and this Los Gallardos apartment. Now that they've had the night to sleep on it, what have they decided? Hello Dave and Leanne, how are you? We had a lot to think about last night. Yeah, had lots to think about. Yep. We had three contenders. Yes. We did. We had three contenders. I know. It's been a really good search. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We phoned home last night and made a couple of phone calls to parents and did you? to Dominic and... Well, I'm going to cut to the... It felt very much like the last property was really edging it. So, it yeah, property is five is the one. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's so exciting. Yeah. Really? Really? Yeah, we loved it. I mean, the pool area is amazing. The towns nearby is... It felt like a reasonable amount of life. Yeah. Um, we're in walking distance, which is exactly what we're after. I fell in love with it. Yeah. And not only that, to boot, it was under budget. Yeah. It was? Yeah. Which I think really got you excited at that point. Yeah, it did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does this mean you want to uh, make an offer on it? Yeah, we yeah. do. Really? Exciting. Yes, Please. amazing. It's currently under £89,000. So, yeah. how, what have you guys been thinking about? We've been thinking to go in with an uh, opening bid of 80000 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Why, why is that then, Dave? I mean, there's a few little bits of cosmetics. The kitchen would like to Might probably to upgrade, and probably the two showers in the both bathrooms right. need a bit of work. And we're cash buyers, so I think eighty thousand is a fair offer. Okay. Um, without right. being too cheeky. Yeah. Shall I make the call then? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Port. It's Ben here. How are you? Very well, thanks. I'm actually sat here with Leanne and Dave, and uh, we've been having a good old chat about that wonderful property you've got in Ros Gallardos. And I have good news for you, because they would like to make an offer. And that offer is a cash offer, based on the fact that they'd like to make some upgrades to it in terms of the bathrooms and the kitchens. They would like to offer £80,000. That would be great. Look forward to hearing from you, Paul. Take care. Bye. It's in! It's in! The offer's in! If we're doing this! Oh gosh, so how excited is Dominic? Is he waiting by the phone at the moment? <laughs> What's he up to? Well, he's probably at school, isn't he? He is at school, yeah. yeah, but I would imagine as soon as he gets in from school, he'll be wondering. He'll be waiting on an yeah. update. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hello, Paul. Okay, thank you, Paul. Can I put you on hold just for a moment? Thank you. He's spoken to Spender. He's very appreciative of your offer. He does feel it's too late. Okay. He would be happy to meet you in the middle at £84,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, should we do it? We're not for that, yeah. Paul, that would be much appreciated. They would love to take that off his hands for £84,000. <laughs> That is wonderful. Thanks so much for your help. Take care. Bye. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Guys, congratulations! <laughs> that went so smoothly and easily. I can't believe it. <laughs> no, no, it's not emotional. Yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. Well, I know yeah. you need to make a call home to Dominic. So, a big cheers to that. And well thank done. You. you have been an absolute thank pleasure. <laughs> Wow, what an incredible search it has been. Five great properties, three amazing contenders, but only one home that truly poured on the heartstrings. And I wish Dave and Leanne the very best for their future here in Elmeria.